to establish a planar grid surface we will need to construct the cat geometry to use as a grid control in this example the red line defines the direction and control elevation for the parking design the slope direction will be defined from the control elevation and slope downward to the catchment in the opposite corner to grade the grading plane for the setup surface the line will need to be lengthened on both sides so all parking features lie entirely within the setup surface limits to lengthen the cat geometry select the lengthen tool from the extended modify panel when prompted to pick the line representing the control grid in the command line options select the delta mode then enter the distance you want to line the extended the line is in example needs to be extended on both ends so it projects beyond the limits of the parking feature on either side once the line has been lengthened you can convert into a feature line from the feature line tools in the ribbon select feature line from object select the line from the drawing then in the create feature line dialog create a new site for the set of features it is important to set up three set of features and actual parking features to avoid unwanted interactions specify a name for the feature line to help identify it in your drawing then select the feature line style to use check erase existing entities and assign elevations then click okay in the assign elevation dialog enter the elevation value that you want to assign to the feature line in this example the control elevation that is noted in the drawing file can be used to set the in initial elevation to grade the feature line additional elevation points will need to be added and the desired elevations and grade assigned to insert the elevation point use the feature line contextual menu select insert elevation from the edit elevation panel then use the autocad snap to pick the apparent intersection between edge of pavement and the grading control feature line the north intersection is needed to set the control elevation for the feature line when prompted to specify the elevation press enter to accept the command line, computed feature line ele elevation add another elevation point at the opposite end of the parking lot to define the low point accept the default elevation to insert the elevation point after both elevations have been added the circle grid will appear at this location of the feature line to assign the elevation and or grade to the feature line use the elevation editor in the elevation editor select the elevation point that you want to grade from selecting a point in the panorama will already fight in the drawing confirm that the control elevation is attached to the point then use the grid break grid back and grid add column to set the grid for the remaining elevation points grid back will the set the elevation for the previous vertex on the feature line and grid ahead will set the elevation point for the next point to set the elevation for the last point in this feature line select the previous elevation point in the panorama then enter the grid ahead to calculate the final elevation the elevation and grid that you assign to the feature line can be edited at any time to adjust the parking grades to complete the set of surface two gradings will be added to the grade control feature line the use of gradings will create a dynamic surface that will automatically update if the grading control feature line is edited under the grading tools in the ribbon select grading creation tools on the grading creation toolbar create a grading group start by selecting the site then specify a name for the grading group the name you assign can also be used for automatic surface that is create select the surface style that you want to use then click okay to create a new surface with the same name as the grading group simply click okay to create the grading group for the planar surface use the grading criteria grade to distance select grading create grading from the grading tools then prompt it to select the grading control feature line Select the side, then press Enter to add the grading along the entire length of the feature. The distance you enter must extend beyond the parking features and can be determined from the tool tip. For the format option, select Grade, then enter zero. This will create a flat grading on the side that you selected. Follow the command prompt to create the flat grading on the opposite side. When both gradings are added to your drawing, you will see the diamond triangle. markers along with the surface contours 
to better visualize the surface contours, you can edit the surface style. In the surface style dialog, Contours tab, expand contours elevation interval. Change the major and minor interval so you can see more contours in the drawing. The contour should drawn perpendicular to the grading control feature line that shown here. Now that you have established a certain surface, you can elevate the parking features.